you can see, we like LED panels. And so the entire stage is going to be on LED. It's going right to be now. like a mini uh, EDM festival, huh? Happening. What's going on? Welcome back to LAX. Once more, it's the third time in six months. I feel like a like a real YouTuber. YouTubers are always in LA. We are out here because of my good friends over at BPM Supreme. Subscribe to BPM Supreme. I'm out here because of BPM Supreme for their industry party that just so happens to coincide with Winter Nam 2019. If you guys remember last year, I was out here for Winter Nam, and that is why I'm out here. So we're gonna be killing two birds with one stone. Now there is a, a bit of a caveat with this. I have a wedding on Friday, and that makes things a little tight. I am gonna be here in California for a total of 36 hours. I just arrived, it is currently noon. It is noon o'clock here in LA, and I'm flying back out tomorrow uh, at midnight red eye shut eye back to new york and right as i get off the plane i'm heading to a wedding so fingers are crossed that everything goes well it's going to be a stressful couple of days a lot of stuff going on and also because i'm only at nam for one day i have to kind of fit in all the stuff that I want to see into one day whereas in last year I had four days to see everything this year I don't have that luxury because I'm working so I have to get back in order to make it to the wedding I can't let the couple down it's a little bit nerve-wracking I'm a little bit nervous but this is what I wanted now here we are we are at LAX and uh, it's gonna be a fun couple of days Uh, we got a rental car um, Really good deal since I'm only here for one day. I got to use my uh, my Hertz points. So uh, kudos to myself <laughs> Whoa, all right, so I grabbed some food I went to my favorite chicken joint out here in uh, California Gus's famous chicken something like that right now I am in Anaheim took a long drive there's so much traffic out here it was not fun getting over here I was like falling asleep on the wheel oh not cool I made it uh, I am here to uh, look for this place called the Roomba room which is where the BPM party is gonna take place uh, it's in like this plaza shopping mall Galleria thing Jake so uh, I just need to find out where I am Let's see. Whoa, it says you are here. How did they know? Roomba Live 201. I am here. I need to go over here. So straight ahead. found Roomba Room Live. This is what it's called, right? And I'm here with the man, the man who uh, made this all possible, this trip possible. This is Orlando, everybody, okay. from BPM. Right. BPM Supreme. Thank you so much, first of all, for inviting me. Thank you for coming out. We always love having you at our events and uh, seeing what you can do. Dude, I am so excited. I had no idea, but you guys are pulling out all the stops for this industry night. So tell us a little bit about what, what's going on, man. Well, right now you're getting a little sneak peek and the making of. Everything's still being put together right now, uh, but we're tr completely transforming the venue, and uh, it's all in honor of our brand new mobile application. Ah. That's the BPM app, so you guys are gonna be able to uh, check out all the latest music, uh, stream music, be able to add things on the fly to your to your crates so that when you get home you just one click of a button a button to be able to download absolutely everything that you want um, so again we're just looking to have a good time tonight celebrate have all the DJs uh, come from all around the world come hang out with us tell us the insane roster you guys pulled out you yeah. guys are not playing any games so we start off strong right out the gate with uh, mr. Miles Medina starting off the night then we move to uh, the LA local uh, just incredible and then we move on to our headliner, which is Miss uh, One Only Z Trip. And we finish off the night with uh, Dynamics. And that's not to mention all of our special guests that are going to be making appearances throughout the night. The biggest one coming, the big announcement, and that's uh, A-Track. A-Track will be joining us. 
uh, tomorrow night, along with Qbert, uh, Angelo, and a bunch of other uh, industry friends. So show us a little bit around what's going on. Uh, you want to start up front with the step and repeat and everything? Yeah, so this is how you guys will be greeted. Beginning, we got our step and repeat. So this, this is you can't see it right now, but before you even step inside the venue, you're going to be on the red carpet and walking in after you go through security. Uh, we have our step and repeat, so we'll have a team of photographers to take uh, your pictures and that you can share on your socials later. Make your way down. Through time. Through time. Down exactly. Down lane, right? Yes. And uh, we're still missing uh, several elements on here, but as you can see, it's a progression of DJing throughout history. Oh, really? I thought it was going to be like music. It's going to be DJ history. <laughs> DJs. Ah, nice. This is a big production, man. You guys are putting together. The rest of the team is building out the rest of the stuff. Uh, you guys even branded the bar, man. You have to. You know, Everything. Most people will branded. spend most of their time at the bar, so why not brand the bar? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is the pop-up shop? Yeah, that's right. It's going to be raised. Shop. So we um, actually haven't announced our new merch line yet, and that's going to be announced at the party. As you can see, we like LED panels. So the entire stage is going to be on LED. It's going right to be now. like a mini uh, EDM festival, huh? Oh, of course. Yeah, mini EDC. Yeah, that's exactly. That's what, we're work that's what we're going for. Check it out. There's, uh, there's a lot going on with the lighting, with the LED panels. The whole DJ booth is going to be a, a big panel, huh? Yeah, the whole DJ booth will be wrapped. LED panel. There'll be LED panels on the side, not to mention all the lights as you can see. Yeah, this is a lot, man. We're asking everyone to be here extremely early. We are um, going to be, there's going to be a lot of people here. So we are, we're encouraging about an hour and a half to get here an hour and a half early just to allow enough time, you know, to go through the yeah. security. Yeah, let me tell you, this, this thing is going to pack out. It's going to be a full house. So that's you need to get hoping. here early. That's what we're hoping for. Get yes. here early, come have a great time and uh, meet your favorite DJs. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun night, man. I'm so excited now. You got me so excited for all this. Dope, 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 dope. The sun has set. It's late here in California. Six o'clock, 10 p uh, nine o'clock, my time. So uh, I'm, I'm getting a little drowsy, getting a little drowsy, but I'm trying to hang in there. Super excited that I got to see the behind the scenes and I got to find out all the little intricate details that are gonna be surprises for you guys tomorrow. <laughs> So we are here. Uh, this is uh, the Airbnb big ass house. Oh, look at that. We got free water. I thought it was going to be all of us, but it turns out we're only sharing it with uh, two people. This is a big ass house for two people. I think it's two people. I took one of the kids' rooms, one of the smaller ones, but I think the other DJ is bringing his wife. He can have the master bedroom, which is uh, this one over here. That's about it. This is another bedroom here. I could probably take this one as well. We have rooms, so if you guys need to crash, you guys can come crash here, because there's nobody, uh, nobody here but me, myself, and I. I don't know when the other DJ is going to arrive but uh fun fact he's actually a uh, a red bull champ are you guys familiar with dj admc before we end this vlog it is tradition that when i fly we do a q a although today i didn't get to do it at the airport i'm gonna do it here from our uh, airbnb our massive airbnb i'm gonna try to answer as many questions as quick as possible what's the best speaker for weddings um as far as brands it really depends because uh, everybody has different tastes. But as far as speaker size, I would probably go with a 12 inch. 12 inch is just about right for most weddings. But if you want a bit of a bigger punch, I would probably step up to 15 inch speakers, which is what I currently use. But uh, on most occasions, if you're doing smaller weddings for about 100, 120 people, 12 inch speaker is probably the way to go. What is the weirdest thing at a wedding or an event that has happened? Weirdest thing? That's a tough one. I don't really know of any weird things that have happened at weddings. I know some people that have DJed while people died. I know some people that have DJed when the best man slept with the bride. Uh, but I've never been in any of those situations, but I I've heard some crazy stories. Uh, the weirdest thing that I would probably just say is really bad speeches. Sometimes the speeches just 
bomb to just go south. So I guess it gets a little weird, but nothing too too dramatic like those ones that I mentioned. Why doesn't my Serato connect with other mixers besides the one I own? Back in the good old days, there was this beautiful invention. It was called Scratch Live. This is back when the dinosaurs roamed. It would be plug and play. Pretty much every mixer that was compatible with Serato, you would just plug and play and it would recognize it. But then they started implementing all these firmwares. With the newer versions of Macs, you also have to go into uh, your security settings to allow you to use certain controllers. Now you have to install drivers just like you did in Windows and you also have to give permission in your security uh, settings or security panel, I forget what it's called. But um, that's why, uh, just check your security settings and make sure that you have the proper drivers installed. But you should be able to use other controllers that aren't your own, it's just that you're doing something wrong, it's not something wrong with the software. It's just you probably need drivers or you need to check your security settings. Will you be at DJ Expo in August? Most definitely 99% yes that I'll be at DJ Expo. I mean, it's it's like 45 minutes away from my house, so why not? Any new Pioneer controllers made for Serato coming out? I don't know. I know Pioneer has really been pushing their record box stuff, so I don't know if we'll be seeing any more Serato controllers. If we do, it's gonna be few and far between. What record pools do you use? I use BPM Supreme, that's why I'm out here. BPM Supreme is dope. Subscribe, download that new app. Do you use a drive rack? Um, I do have a drive rack. Um, I n use it every now and then. The cool thing that it has a bass boost, which I love, and it also has anti-feedback, which makes it so that your microphones don't give you feedback. It's pretty okay. So yeah, I mean, I, I recently got it and I've been using it. Where did you work at before you were a full-time DJ? I was a hardwood floor salesman. And uh, are you having a good time with no job? Ironically, it feels like I'm busier now than I was before. It's, it's kind of weird how that worked out. But I've been spending a lot more time doing paperwork and stuff uh, for my own company, and so it's it's a little bit weird. Did you get invited to Mobile Beat? Um, no, as of today, which is January 20, maybe 19, I don't know. Um, I am not going to Mobile Beat as of today. I don't know yet, though, because um, most of the times I don't find out if I'm going until February. At what point do you decide to bring out the subs for gigs? I notice that sometimes you don't bring them. General rule of thumb, if it's over 150 people or 200 people, if it's over 150 people, then I'll say, okay, maybe I should take it. If it's 200 people or up, I'll definitely take it. Anything below 150 is kind of a, like, how am I feeling today? Do I really feel like lugging this big ass thing around? If it's no, then no. But um, most of the time, I, it's it's more or less the room size and the the actual event size that decides whether or not I bring the subs. Do you ever want to make your own edits or remixes? Um, actually, I used to do that back in the day when I first started out DJing. I started making remixes uh, and posting them on SoundCloud, and then my SoundCloud got taken down for making remixes and edits and stuff like that. Um, a couple of you guys have sent me screenshots of the edits that I've made in the past, but they were really bad because I was just starting out DJing and they're all offbeat, they're all horrible. So uh, if you have any of my edits, please delete them and I, I don't have any plans on making new ones. What's better, a plexiglass facade or a scrim? Uh, definitely a scrim facade is better, but, here's the but, a plexiglass facade looks better. Here's why a scrim facade is better. First of all, it's way lighter, it takes up way less space, and it does the same job as a plexiglass. Plexiglass, the only thing that has going for it is the aesthetics. It looks really cool because it looks shiny, you know, it looks uh, cool, and kids can't like mess with it as much as they can with a scrim facade. But they're also super prone to breaking. I broke my plexiglass facade. At first, I was an all plexiglass guy. I needed to have a plexiglass facade, and then I got one, and it broke like six months later, and I have a ton of friends that have plexiglass facades, and all of them are broken. The hinges break on them because the plexiglass is so heavy, and also because it's plexiglass, it's prone to cracking, so the plexiglass oftentimes cracks, and that's not good, and last and final point, plexiglass facades are heavy as hell and take up a lot of space, so depending on if you have a big box truck or trailer, sure, go for a plexiglass facade it's gonna look sweet but make sure you get a flight case for it because if you have it in a small bag like I do with my regular scrim facade it's gonna get beat up it's gonna get tore up and it's gonna break that's gonna do it for this Q&A thank you guys so much for watching I think I'm gonna sign off from this video right here right
right now, I'm going to meet up with the homie DJ Mojo, and uh, we're gonna go celebrate his birthday, so we're gonna go grab some dinner. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like it, subscribe if you're new around here, share with all your friends on social media, and if you really wanna help me out, don't forget to turn on that bell so you can be notified when we post these NAM 2019 vlogs. Signing off, your boy homie DJ Barrow. See you guys tomorrow at NAM. Peace. Bye.